Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to our Wednesday evening prayers for the fifth week of Lent. And it's good to have our two sisters with us, Eleanor and Elizabeth. And we send love, light, and blessing to you both. And this evening, excuse me, I've got a bit of a runny nose. There we go. So we're going to begin with a little prayer, a Celtic prayer, from the Celtic Book of Prayers from Iona. Peace between nations, peace between neighbours, peace between lovers. In love of the God of life, peace between man and woman, peace between parent and child, peace between brother and sister, Peace of Christ above all peace. Bless, O Christ, my face, that my face bless everything. Bless, O Christ, my eyes, that my eyes bless all they see. So let us now come together <clears throat> in service to love, to light, and to the cosmic Christ. And we begin the office of Vespers. O God, come to my aid. O oh Lord, make haste and help us. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn for Lent, Jesus, the Son of ransomed earth, shed in our inmost souls thy light, as in spring days of fairer birth, heralds each morn the doom of night. This hour of grace thou dost impart, teach us with flowing tears the stain, to cleanse from every victim heart that longs to feel love's welcome pain. The day is come, the accepted day, when grace like nature flowers anew, Trained by thy hand, the surer way, rejoice we in our springtime too. Let the whole earth in worship bow, great God before thy mercy seat, as we renewed by grace do now, with praises new, thy presence greet. And our first antiphon for this Wednesday evening, Vespers reads, The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? And now we read Psalm 26. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? When evil doers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. The war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life in his presence, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of the tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? And the second antiphon, it is your face, O Lord, that I see. Hide not your face. And we continue with Psalm 26. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. 
Of you my heart is spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from the enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. And the third antiphon, he is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. And now we have a canticle reading from Paul to the Colossians. Let us give thanks to the Father, Mother God, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of their beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. And now we have a special reading for this fifth Wednesday of Lent. And it's from Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 32 to 35. Be kind and tender-hearted to one another, each of you generous to all as God in Christ has been generous to you. As God's favorite children, you must be like him. Order your lives in charity upon the model of that charity which Christ showed to us when he gave himself up on our behalf a sacrifice breathing out fragrance as he offered it to God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. And the Magnificent Antiphon, why do you want to kill me when I tell you the truth? And now I invite you to join me for the Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. 
the Almighty has done marvelous things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant. That's you and me, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his descendants forever. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the antiphon. Why do you want to kill me when I tell you the truth? And now we come to our evening intercessions. God, our Father, Mother, knows all the needs of their people but, he wants us, but they want us to give first place to their kingdom. Let us proclaim their greatness in our prayer. Response. May your kingdom come in all its justice. May your kingdom come in all its justice. Holy Father, Mother God, you gave us Christ as the shepherd of our souls. May your people always have priests who care for them with his great love. Response, may your kingdom come in all its justice. Grant that Christians will prove brothers and sisters to the sick. Show them the features of your son in the faces of those who suffer. Response, may your kingdom come in all its justice. Help those who do not believe in the gospel to come into your church. Build it up in love to manifest your goodness everywhere. Response, may your kingdom come in all its justice. Father, Mother, God, we know that we are sinners. Grant us your forgiveness and reconcile us with your church. Response, may your kingdom come in all its justice. May the dead enter eternal life. May they abide with you forever. Response, may your kingdom come in all its justice. And now for a moment or two, let us spend this time in silence as we reawaken our heart to the merciful heart of a loving God. And if anything troubles us, let us name it, bless it, and release it to God in a mindset of gratitude and conclude with the three-worded prayer, thank you, God. This evening, I wish to pray for each one of you who've joined me and I ask the Lord Christ who called you by name to touch your heart with this healing love. I pray this evening especially for prisoners, for the men and women who are incarcerated from families, but I pray especially for those on death row. And I pray for young men and women who are in remand institutions for correction and pray that they learn their lessons wisely and that when they're discharged from prison that they will cease their habitual crime. I pray this evening for the whole family of God of all faiths and none who are hurting in mind, body and spirit. I pray for our illegal immigrants who escape their own homeland, family and friends, because of war. I pray that our government will be more tolerant and loving as they always have been and welcome more to these shores. I pray for heads of state 
and governments throughout the world, that they will be merciful in their justice. I pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. I pray that the Holy Spirit will protect him from corrupt individuals seeking to overthrow him. I pray for His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Thich Nhat Hanh. And I pray for Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch, who's head of the Church of England. And for all the men and women who've dedicated their lives to God and all the faith groups, we remember them, especially those who are weary at this time. And we pray especially for those who dedicated their lives to God, who are battle weary and who are under enormous pressure. We pray especially for the priest who provides spiritual support to our sisters in Philadelphia, that if he is under pressure, that he will be given the help that he needs and that he will do his level best to respect canon law and bring to our sisters the daily Eucharist. And now let us bring all our requests, all our intentions, as we remember all our beloved pets that bring us so much love. And we pray for those who are cruel and unkind to the animal kingdom. And we celebrate tonight Sister Sue's acquisition of another um, bird, a parrot, for Toby, and she's called her new bird Chiki, and she's very happy, and the two get on really well. So we're really excited that Sister Sue is happy now. But we pray for dear Nirmala and her birdies. We pray for Sister Miriam and her bunnies, her bees, and for beautiful Molly. We pray for Chewy and Hooty and all the furry friends there in America. And I pray for my three here by my feet, snoring their little hearts out. So let us now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us tonight our daily bread. Forgive us our disobedience. Protect us from those who have wronged us and those whom we have wronged. Forgive us our trespass. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of negativity, despair, and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now for our closing prayer to Wednesday Vespers. God of mercy, shed your light on hearts that have been purified by penance. And in your goodness, give us a favorable hearing when you move us to pray. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of Wednesday Vespers, and we conclude now with our Celtic prayer. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gifts of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the animal kingdom be in your hearts now and forevermore. Amen. And as I blow out this light, I blow the peace, the love, and the joy of our Father, Mother, God, and the living Christ to you. Amen. Namaste. Shalom. 
inshallah pax et bonum om shanti. Solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of all that is sacred to you reawaken your heart to the I am presence within you. I wish you a blessed day, to, and to our two sisters in Philadelphia, we wish you well, to dear Nirmala who's joined us, and to all who have not logged in. God bless you and take care. And before I forget, on Doves for Peace this evening, we have Leyden from Manchester, who will be sharing with us about her trip to Sedona. And I'm hopefully back here at 10 o'clock for our Lenten retreat. Take care. God bless. Yeah.